The vast expanse of the universe has long fascinated scientists and astronomers, and the James Webb Space Telescope has made a discovery that could fundamentally alter our understanding of the cosmos. This groundbreaking finding centers around a black hole so powerful that it has the potential to challenge our current models of the universe's formation and evolution. World-renowned astrophysicist Michio Kaku expressed his excitement about this discovery, stating, for the first time, we see how the universe really began. He speculates that these black holes might reveal new laws of physics, and those who can unravel these mysteries could be on the path to a Nobel Prize. Kaku was among the first to openly discuss the implications of the James Webb Space Telescope's findings, highlighting the presence of monstrous black holes at the edge of the temporal universe. The telescope has captured an image of ancient galaxies that are so old they defy current understanding. Among these galaxies, an ultramassive black hole has been discovered, a finding that has the potential to upend our entire picture of the universe. Dubbed the Universe Breaker, this discovery has sent shock waves through the astronomical community. Few could have anticipated that images from the new telescope would reveal phenomena that challenge everything known so far. Ever since the publication of the first images, researchers worldwide have eagerly analyzed the data, hoping that the new space telescope would provide answers or confirm long-standing theories like the Big Bang. Initially, everything seemed promising. NASA released a photo showing stars and countless galaxies, with the older, more reddish galaxies providing a glimpse into the distant past. As the image was studied, dozens of research teams used cutting-edge technology to extract detailed information from every point of light. By analyzing these data points, researchers determined the age of the light, the elements reflecting it, the velocity of the galaxy, and the number of stars it likely contained. The James Webb Space Telescope, a marvel of modern technology, has allowed scientists to peer back in time to just half a billion years after the Big Bang. Soon after, researchers announced the discovery of ancient galaxies, one of which harbors a black hole with a mass 10 million times greater than that of our Sun. The existence of such a massive object during a period when the universe was still in its infancy is perplexing. A black hole of this size, so soon after the cosmic Big Bang, challenges our understanding of galaxy formation. According to the previous Big Bang theory, only early prototypes of stars and star clusters should have existed at that time. Yet, we now observe six galaxies that are massive, bright, and full of stars, each potentially hosting a supermassive black hole at its center. Gravitational lensing, a powerful technique in modern astronomy, has revolutionized our ability to observe some of the most elusive and distant objects in the universe. This technique has become essential in the study of cosmic entities such as black holes, distant galaxies, and exoplanets. The phenomenon of gravitational lensing occurs when the light from a distant object, such as a galaxy or star, is bent and magnified by the gravitational field of a massive object, like a galaxy cluster or black hole, that lies between the observer and the distant source. The gravitational pull of the intervening mass warps the fabric of spacetime, creating a lensing effect that can focus and amplify the light from the background object. This extraordinary effect was discovered by accident, but it has since become one of the most important tools in astronomy. The discovery of gravitational lensing has deep roots in the theory of general relativity proposed by Albert Einstein in 1915. Einstein's theory predicted that massive objects would warp spacetime, bending the path of light passing nearby. While the effect was initially considered to be more of a theoretical curiosity, it was first observed in 1919 during a solar eclipse by British astronomer Sir Arthur Eddington. The observation of starlight bending around the Sun provided the first empirical evidence supporting Einstein's theory and laid the groundwork for the development of gravitational lensing as a tool in astrophysics. Gravitational lensing has since evolved into a vital technique for astronomers, allowing them to study objects that are otherwise too faint, distant, or obscure to be observed directly. One of the most significant applications of gravitational lensing is the observation of distant galaxies and black holes, which are often billions of light years away from Earth. These objects emit light that has traveled across vast stretches of space and time, making them appear faint and difficult to detect with even the most powerful telescopes. 
However, when a massive object, such as a galaxy cluster, lies between the distant galaxy and the observer, the gravitational field of the intervening object acts as a natural telescope. It bends and magnifies the light from the distant galaxy, making it appear brighter and larger than it would otherwise. This magnification effect allows astronomers to study the properties of these distant galaxies in much greater detail, providing insights into the early universe's formation and evolution. Gravitational lensing has also been instrumental in the discovery and study of exoplanets, planets that orbit stars outside our solar system. In some cases, the lensing effect can magnify the light from a distant star, revealing the presence of an orbiting exoplanet that would otherwise be too faint to detect. This technique, known as microlensing, has led to the discovery of numerous exoplanets, many of which are located in regions of space that are difficult to study using other methods. One of the most exciting prospects of gravitational lensing is its potential to unlock the mysteries of the early universe. The light from the most distant galaxies has traveled for billions of years to reach us, providing a glimpse into the universe's past. By studying these ancient galaxies, astronomers hope to understand how the first stars and galaxies formed, how they evolved, and what conditions were like in the early universe. However, these distant galaxies are often incredibly faint, making them difficult to observe directly. Gravitational lensing provides a solution to this challenge by magnifying the light from these distant objects, making them visible to telescopes on Earth and in space. In some cases, the lensing effect can create multiple images of the same galaxy, each one distorted and magnified differently depending on the configuration of the intervening mass. By analyzing these images, astronomers can reconstruct the original light from the distant galaxy and gain valuable insights into its properties. One of the most famous examples of gravitational lensing is the Einstein cross, a quasar that appears as four distinct images arranged in a cross-like pattern around a central galaxy. This phenomenon occurs because the light from the quasar is bent by the gravitational field of the intervening galaxy, creating multiple images of the same object. The Einstein cross provides a striking visual example of the power of gravitational lensing and its ability to reveal objects that would otherwise be hidden from view. In recent years, gravitational lensing has been used to study some of the most enigmatic objects in the universe, black holes. These cosmic entities are regions of space where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. While black holes themselves are invisible, their presence can be inferred through the gravitational. I hope this paragraph formatting helps. The lensing effect they produce on the light from nearby stars and galaxies allows astronomers to study the distortions in the light around black holes. By analyzing these distortions, astronomers can learn about the mass, size, and other properties of black holes, providing valuable insights into the nature of these mysterious objects. The James Webb Space Telescope, set to launch in the near future, is expected to play a crucial role in the study of gravitational lensing. With its advanced imaging capabilities and sensitivity to infrared light, the telescope will be able to observe some of the most distant and faintest objects in the universe. By taking advantage of gravitational lensing, the James Webb Space Telescope will allow astronomers to peer further back in time than ever before, potentially revealing new insights into the early universe and the formation of the first galaxies. Gravitational lensing is not only a tool for observing distant objects but also a method for detecting dark matter, an invisible form of matter that makes up most of the universe's mass. Dark matter does not emit or absorb light, making it undetectable through traditional observational methods. However, its presence can be inferred through its gravitational effects on visible matter, including the lensing effect it produces on light from distant galaxies. By mapping the distortions in the light caused by dark matter, astronomers can create detailed maps of its distribution in the universe, providing crucial information about its nature and role in cosmic evolution. Gravitational lensing has become an indispensable tool in modern astronomy, allowing researchers to observe and study some of the most distant and elusive objects in the universe. From revealing the properties of ancient galaxies and exoplanets to unlocking the mysteries of black holes and dark matter, gravitational lensing offers a unique and powerful way to explore the cosmos. As technology continues to advance and new telescopes come online, 
the potential for gravitational lensing to uncover new and exciting discoveries in the early universe remains vast, promising to reshape our understanding of the cosmos in the years to come. Beyond the groundbreaking discoveries about black holes and their role in the cosmos, early 2023 brought two astonishing findings that have captivated the scientific community and sparked a wave of speculation and excitement. The first of these discoveries involves the detection of a massive unknown object being drawn into the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy, the Milky Way. The second discovery is even more provocative, the suggestion that advanced alien civilizations might be using black holes as quantum computers. The fact that these revelations emerged almost simultaneously has led some researchers to speculate about a potential connection between the two phenomena. The first discovery centers on the mysterious object being pulled into the Milky Way's central black hole, known as Sagittarius A-star. This black hole, which has a mass approximately 4 million times that of our Sun, is located about 26,000 light-years from Earth and is surrounded by a swirling disk of gas and dust. The object, detected through its gravitational influence and the X-rays it emits as it spirals closer to the black hole, has puzzled astronomers. Its exact nature remains unclear, but it is massive enough to cause significant disturbances in the surrounding spacetime. Some scientists have speculated that this object could be a cloud of gas or a star being shredded by the black hole's immense gravitational forces. However, others believe it could be something entirely different, perhaps even a new type of astrophysical phenomenon that has yet to be fully understood. The event provides a rare opportunity to observe the dynamics of matter as it interacts with a black hole, offering insights into the extreme environments near these cosmic giants. The second discovery is even more speculative and has ignited the imaginations of both scientists and the public. Researchers have proposed that advanced alien civilizations might be harnessing the extreme conditions near black holes to perform quantum computations. This idea is rooted in a theoretical concept that black holes, due to their intense gravitational fields and the peculiarities of quantum mechanics, could be used as incredibly powerful computers. Quantum computers operate on principles of quantum mechanics, exploiting the behaviors of particles at the smallest scales to perform calculations that are far beyond the capabilities of classical computers. The notion that black holes could serve as quantum computers stems from the hypothesis that their event horizons, the boundaries beyond which nothing can escape, might be able to store and process vast amounts of information at the quantum level. If an advanced civilization were able to master the technology to safely approach and utilize a black hole in this way, it could theoretically harness immense computational power. This could allow such a civilization to perform simulations of the universe, solve complex problems, or store colossal amounts of data. The idea is still in the realm of theoretical physics, but it aligns with the broader speculation about the types of technologies that might be developed by civilizations far more advanced than our own. The near-simultaneous timing of these two discoveries has led some researchers to consider the possibility of a connection between them. Could the mysterious object being drawn into Sagittarius A** be related to the hypothetical use of black holes as quantum computers? Some have speculated that the object could be an artifact or probe from an advanced civilization deliberately sent to interact with the black hole. Alternatively, it might be part of a natural process that could, under certain conditions, be utilized for quantum computing. While these ideas here is the text formatted into paragraphs without missing or skipping any words. These ideas remain speculative, but they highlight the sense of wonder and curiosity that drives scientific exploration. The discoveries raise profound questions about the nature of black holes, the potential for advanced civilizations in the universe, and the limits of our current understanding of physics. As astronomers continue to study these phenomena with increasingly sophisticated tools and techniques, we may one day uncover answers that could reshape our understanding of the universe and our place within it. The early 2023 discoveries related to black holes have opened new avenues of inquiry and speculation. The detection of a massive unknown object being drawn into Sagittarius A** and the possibility that black holes could be used as quantum computers by advanced civilizations are both groundbreaking and provocative. 
These findings remind us of the vastness of the universe and the mysteries that still await discovery. Whether or not these two phenomena are connected, they underscore the importance of continued exploration and the potential for new transformative insights into the nature of reality. The mysterious object at the center of our galaxy, initially thought to be an alien spaceship or a quantum computer, was later identified as a massive cloud of dust and gas named X7. This cloud, about 50 times as massive as Earth, is being gradually stretched and pulled toward the black hole. X7 will eventually be consumed by the black hole, a process that will culminate in a bright flare when it finally disappears into the galactic center. The concept of species capable of using black holes as energy sources or computers is a tantalizing one. Some cosmologists even speculate that such advanced civilizations may have evolved into pure energy, allowing them to approach black holes without being torn apart. Black holes, ever since their prediction by Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, have been places of extreme gravity where the laws of physics as we know them break down. The James Webb Space Telescope has not only discovered the oldest black hole but also provided new insights into these cosmic giants, revealing that black holes were more common and massive in the early universe than previously believed. The six galaxies discovered by the James Webb Space Telescope challenge our understanding of black holes and the formation of galaxies. These findings suggest that either the universe is older than we thought, or that black holes formed in a completely different way than we currently understand. The discovery of these ancient galaxies forces us to rethink our knowledge of the cosmos and the role of black holes in shaping it. The potential implications of these discoveries are profound pushing the boundaries of our understanding and imagination. As scientists continue to study these phenomena, our picture of the universe may be forever changed. The James Webb Space Telescope has opened up new frontiers in our exploration of the cosmos, revealing a universe more complex and mysterious than we ever imagined. I hope this helps.